Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now we are going to see detecting spam in this by monitoring outgoing messages. Is under the domain of network. What is network? A network is a group of two or more computer systems linked together. There are many types of computer networks including LAN, WAN, CAN, MAN and HAN. What is LAN? Is nothing but local area networks. The computers are geographically close together that is in the same building. What is WAN? Is nothing but wide area networks. The computers are far, further apart and are connected by telephone lines or radio waves. What is CAN? Is nothing but campus area networks. The computers are within a limited geographic area such as a campus or military base. What is MAN? Is nothing but metropolitan area networks. A data network designed for a town or city. What is HAN? is nothing but home media networks, a network contained within the user's home that connects a person's digital services. I am going to explain abstract of the paper. Major security challenge on the internet is the existence of the large number of compromised machines. Such machines have been increasingly used to launch various security attacks including spamming, spreading malware and identity theft. The spamming provides a key economic incentive for attackers to recruit the large number of compromised machines. Detection of the compromised machine in a network that are involved in the spreading activities commonly known as spam zombies. What is spam? is an unsolicited bulk email. Many copies of the same mail is an attempt to force the message on people who would not otherwise choose to receive it. To develop an effective spam zoomy detection system named SPOT by monitoring outgoing message of a network. SPOT is based on a powerful statistical tool called sequential probability ratio test which has bounded false positive and false negative error rates. To compare the performance of the SPOT with two other spam zombie detection algorithms based on the number and percentage of the spam messages. I am going to explain the brief concept of the paper. In this paper, compromised machines are one of the key security threats on the internet. They are often used to launch various security attacks such as spamming and spreading malware. Spamming provides a critical economic incentive for the controllers of the compromised machines to recruit these machines. It has been widely observed that many compromised machines are involved in spamming. So we aim to develop a tool for system administration to automatically detect the compromised machines in the networks in an online manner. In existing, counting the number of spam message detection algorithm is used. The locally generated outgoing message in a network normally cannot provide the aggregate large scale spam view required by this approach. So identifying and cleaning compromised machine in a network remain a significant challenge for system administrators of networks of all sizes. The nature of sequential observing outgoing messages gives rise to the sequential detection problem. So this method cannot be applied. In proposed to develop an effective spam zoom detection system's name, SPOT. SPOT is used to monitoring outgoing messages of a network. SPOT is designed based on a statistical method called sequential probability ratio test. SPOT can be used to test between two hypotheses. So SPOT minimizes the number of required observation to detect a spam zombie. SPOT minimizes the expected number of observation required to reach a decision among all the sequential and non-sequence statistical tests with no greater error rates. This means that the SPOT detection system can identify a compromised machine quickly. Moreover, both the false positive and false negative probabilities of SPOT can be bounded by user-defined thresholds. Consequently, users of the SPOT system can select the desired thresholds to control the false positive and false negative rates of the system. This paper to develop the SPOT detection system to assist system administrators in automatically identifying the compromised machines in their networks. For example, among the 440 internal IP addresses observed in the email trace, SPOT identifies 132 of them as being associated with the compromised machines. Out of the 132 IP address identified by SPOT, 126 can be either independently confirmed or highly likely to be compromised. Moreover, only 7 internal IP addresses associated with the compromised machines in the trace are missed by SPOT. To compare the, also to compare the performance of SPOT with two other detection algorithms. One based on the number of spam messages and another one the percentage of spam messages sent from a Intel machines respectively. Simply we call CT and PT. 
CT refers to the count threshold detection algorithm and PT refers to the percentage threshold detection algorithm. Now I am going to explain system architecture of the paper. The system to send spam mails, that is many copies of the same mail is sent to other systems. The outgoing messages are arrived in spot detections. Inside is spot first capture the IP address of the system. Next that system mails are applied to spam filter process. Inside spam filter, the mail contents are filtered. Next is arrived in detection of spam. Inside the detection, the filtered mails are classified, either spam or non-spam. Then the result of the spam is displayed. Here the particular system of the spam mails are comes under compromised machine. Otherwise, the remaining system of the mails are comes under uncompromised machines. Next process is to compare the performance of spot to two, two different techniques. First one is CT and next one is PT. Now I am going to explain demo of our project. First start VAM server because data are retrieved from databases. To open admins to run title.java. Click open an account button. Then new form is open. In that form to give the mail ID and password. Click account login. Check these two values are valid or not. If it is valid, the account is authenticated. Otherwise, it is not valid. The next two form is compose mail process. In that form, the mail is sent to others. Here, to fill the two address subject and um, attached file and the content of the um, mail. Click send. The mail sent successfully message box is displayed here. Click forward to give mail id and send. That means the same mail is sent to others. The same process is followed in 5 times. Each time the different mail ids are to be given. And click spot detection. The next form is open here. In that form to click capture IP, the IP address is captured by spot. Which means when the machine to send one mail that is outgoing message is captured by spot and click mail list the IP address of the machine sends same mail to different users and click and choose one mail to click open the file is open here and click filter the form is open here Click apply filter, content of the mail is filter, so only the message box is displayed. Click detection, the result of mail is displayed. If the mail is spam, IP address of the machine is compromised. Otherwise the mail is non-spam and IP address of the machine is uncompromised. Click compass spot, the next form is open. In that form to choose either CT detection or PT detection. I choose CT detection. Click threshold. CT detection to give the one threshold value. This threshold value denotes the fixture length of spam mail. Click monitor button here to count the number of lines in each mail. If the each mail counts are greater than equal to threshold value, so these mails are spam mails. Click PT. Click PT. The next new form is open here. Here to set two threshold values. One is minimum message threshold. Next one is maximum spam threshold. Click compute. Here PT algorithm is used to compute the count of total messages and count of spam mails of machines. These counting values are compared to these two threshold values. If it is greater, these mails are spam mail. Finally, I conclude this demo. CT and PT have a worse performance than SPOT. SPOT is an effective and efficient system in automatically detecting compromised machines in a network. Thanks for listening.